Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Weights here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of November 6th. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Alright, oh Jesus. Alright, so it's not looking good for something in the future for it might be a new relationship or a pregnancy. Um, this These two makes me feel like it's pregnancy, but it could be a new relationship where somebody has been um, treating you very good and giving you gifts, but it looked like something is not going too right with that, okay? Let me put this. Yeah, so somebody that's been giving you something or you might have been giving somebody something um, in a new relationship and it looked like it's not going to be going too well. But um, thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and sending no personal reasons. If you want one, check in the description box below. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And let's get this show on the road because your cards are ready to speak. All right. So, what's going on? Look at this. Just dropping right out the middle. Won't even let me deal. All right. So, it seems like, ooh, somebody might want you to get rid of some friends or you possibly should get rid of some friends or some friends that want, want to get away from you because they feel like too much baggage, okay? Baggage. Seems like somebody trying to hold the other person back. All right. What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, love reading August. August, really? <laughs> Virgo love reading November 6th through the 13th. November 6th through the 13th. Virgo. November 6th through the 13th. 2017. November 6th through 13th, 2017. I don't know. August keep flying in my head, so something might be significant for you guys. Or some of you guys in August. But, okay, so it seems like somebody might be coming out of a state of um, bad dreams this week, okay? Okay, so it seems like these bad dreams are only been going on for a little bit of time. Or um, the relationship that's causing this has only been bad for a little bit of time. Or it's just a short-term relationship, okay? Okay. So it seems like in the short-term relationship or just for a little while, somebody has been violating your personal space, okay? Or they feel like you've been violating theirs. I feel like for some of you, you may have left somebody just for a little while because of somebody was um who jeez there's so many things going on here okay so it seemed like somebody left somebody for a little while because they was going through their personal space okay so it seemed like you might have been going through somebody's personal space and they left you and now you know it's like oh my god i can breathe now kind of situation or it could be some relationship that you were in and you're getting over like just restless nights about them going through your stuff or about going through it. So, so you feel like you might have some kind of relief, relief on what's going on with this person. All right. So let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Yeah. So it seems like the release that you're getting from this I feel like this might be you, the one who is violating a personal space. And I feel like you're trying to cleanse yourself. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to think better and, and be like more secure so you don't have to do these things. Yeah. So it seems like you might be um, doing some self-cleansing. Maybe the self-cleansing is what's been going on just for a short while. And it's helping you get out of your head. It's helping you get out of your head, you know? Get out of your head, get out of their phone, you know? All right, so it seems like there is definitely some sexual attraction here. You're attracted to this person, and I feel like this person is attracted to you. And I feel like... I mean, just because you're healing yourself right now, I feel like you might feel like you don't deserve this person. You're not good enough. Or this person could feel like this about you. And I think that's why 
um, the personal space is being violated, okay? Wow, okay, so it seems like you may have made this person or this person think they made you one way or the other. It's like somebody sacrificed a lot to get somebody where they are. And now that they're how they are, you're looking at them and they're, they're getting more attention. So you're like, what are you doing? I know you're doing something, you know. And then you're just trying to get out of that situation. You're trying to get out of your head. This is like, this is not, not about that person yet. It's about you and your mindset, you know, now that you made somebody better than what they are. Okay. Okay, so it seems like this person has stopped doing things for you like they used to when um before you you start sacrificing yourself for them. So you start doing better for yourself. You're starting to do more for yourself. You're not like you're good now, you know. You went crazy for a second, now you're coming back to reality like I gotta, you know, fix me again. Like you can go fix yourself, I'm gonna fix me, you know. All right, what's going on? What's that? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on with the Virgo love reading? Virgo love reading, November, November 6th through 13th, 2017. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Love reading, love reading, love reading. All right, yeah, so it seems like with some kind of situation, you're just not waiting for it anymore. You're not waiting anymore. You don't feel like something is worth your time. Or this could be your partner with you. Alright, so it seems like there's been no um, communication, no love, and somebody is refusing to leave a situation with lack of um, love. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it seems like some kind of loss is indicated. You may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but January. All right, let's read these cards straight out the book, okay? So we have the hangman reversed. All right, it says irresistible, low self-esteem, and patient. So I can definitely see that in the cards before, okay? And the low self-esteem is just because this person wasn't treating you like they were before you put them where they are. Okay, the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. It says, it's upside down. Elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, and gatherings, new possibilities can be created when you look at alternate directions. So it's basically like, you need to look at something else, go somewhere else to find your happiness because this happiness is lost, you know? So I don't um, see exactly what this person is doing. I, all I know is they're not treating you like they was before, like they were before, okay? So it's basically telling you it's time to move on. All right, so we got the Five of Cups, and I feel like you're doing that too because you're starting to heal yourself. You might be going to the gym or just meditating or yoga or whatever, some kind of self-healing to help yourself get over this this situation, this loss. Like, dang, I made you. Well, not made you, you know what I'm saying? But I made you better than what you were, and now you're going to start treating me like this, really? You know? But this person still is sexually attracted to you, but it's still like you not feeling like they were you know you don't feel like you're good enough all right so we got the five of cups and it says a loss of some kind is indicated the realization that something which was believed in was not true tendencies of drug and alcohol use so if it seems like i feel like when you start feeling like you wasn't good enough that's when you start drinking and that's when you probably start going through their phone, drinking or drugs or whatever, going through their phone, following them. I think it was a lot of stalking going on here. Um, but it seems like now that you're finding yourself, you just like, okay, whatever. I lost one. You know, it'll never happen again, you know. I just heard above and not below, okay. All right. So we got the seven of swords and it says to gain here much work is required and in the end uh the efforts may not pay off as well as you hope for 
Do not take the easy way out. Trouble may follow. This makes me feel like somebody is working real hard to get this person to notice them, to get them this person back. But this is a loss. This relationship is a loss. I think you sacrificed way too much for way too long for them to um, go back to what it was before you helped them. I don't feel like this going to change. So it's like, if it changes, just be a little bit. But this person is never going back to where they was before you um, helped them out. Okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read and check in the description box below, email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.